Hello and welcome to this video. In today's video, we're going to be replacing this light up here in the tree that has gone faulty. It's an old 500 watt flood lamp. So we're going to be replacing it with an LED flood lamp, but with a bit of an upgrade. We're going to do it with a kinetic switch so you can switch it on and off. But then also, we're going to hook it up to Alexa. So let's see how we get on. Right, first things first. I disconnected this a little while ago because it was tripping the fuse and it was no good. But then they decided, yep, yeah, we do want the actual light in the tree, so can we put a new one up? So let's get rid of this. Well, I tell you, that was easier than I thought. Just sort of fell out the tree. Bonus. Because we're fixing it in a tree, I'm going to go that little bit further with better bolts because obviously trees grow and they move. So I wanna put these to make sure that it stays there over time. Look at that, you get up the tree, you got a flat battery. Now we wanna make sure that this is going to fit in our little whisker box. So we'll unpack it. And the instructions, we'll keep them just in case we need them. And then get it out. It's quite big to be honest. But yeah, I reckon that will get in there nicely. Now, the reason that I've gone side to side, because even though it's an IP rated box with stuffing glands, I want to eliminate the risk of water getting in these once it, once it gets onto the cable. So I'm gonna go in side to side. Now, I'm gonna tidy up the cable up here and to come down here, I know it's never gonna get touched, but we like to be perfectionists, don't we, us electricians? And then obviously tidy the flex back down to the armored box that's down there. There we go, that looks better already. And the reason why I'm doing it at the back of the tree, because it just looks a bit better from this angle. Because you can't see the cables. It just always looks a bit better if you try and hide the cables out of the way. Right, so now we've got it all wired and the box ready to go. So let's install the receiver. Okay, so I admit it, it was a little bit tight. So I shaved a little bit off of that bracket, just so it sits in there nice and neat. And it's upside down as well, isn't it? But I want to do it so the cables can swoop in nice and neat. So let's do that. Right, I was going to show you me actually wiring it and putting the ferrules on and things like that, but I couldn't hold the camera at the same time. So here it is. I've got the incoming, going to the inside of the receiver, and then the outgoing, live and neutral, going out to the light. And then the earth, I've just stuck in a wago. So then now, Let's get the switch working with it. Right. So we know it works with the button on there. So I'm gonna hold this for three seconds. Two, three. No, longer. One, two, three. So it flashes picks up the light. And that's working. Voila. Now normally, for a switch, you'd have to wire it from all the way from that tree and your switch wire, or maybe put a joint box in the ground somewhere. But ideally, it wants to go here, just as you go outside. 
So we're just going to stick it to there. Comes on. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can get it to work with Alexa. Well, normally I don't really read instructions because I'm a bloke and I'm lazy. But this time, I'm gonna actually check it out to make sure I do it right. Get your camera on the way around. Download this smart life and I got it before to so update it. Open her up. Right, so to make it enter setup mode, hold this for 15 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, so that's fashion all different colors. And we add the device, but it's just picked one up. Look, there we go. That is what, exactly what we've got. Oh, shit, I've got to put the password in. No, it says it's being added. We'll call it Dimmer One, that'll be fine. Well, there we go. So when I was concentrating, turning it on and off, I didn't realize that it was still sort of just recording on the phone, but it's working. Now to add to the Alexa app. So if we go to Alexa, you can hear me. Devices, add a device. And then we want to add a light and let's look for the app. What is it called? Tunya, that looks right. Tunya. Install your Tunya light. I'd like to app to connect, right, let's go. Install your Tunya light, let's try it. We have got the app. This is good, it's looking for it. Enable it to, to use, fantastic. Right, agree to add the link. Now it's looking for devices to connect to. What I did find out what helped, if I went back to the box again, held that down so it can be discovered by Alexa. So obviously you got to hold that down for 15 seconds once again, until them colours start changing. To do it any time. There we go. Blue, purple, blue, purple, red. There we go. Set up device. We'll call this. Garden. Right, so you've got to call it Alexa, turn on smart wireless switch K10D. Hmm, hopefully I can change that. That's my Alexa. Smart, is it set up and ready to use? Alexa, turn on my smart wireless switch. Okay. Yay. Alexa, turn off my smart wireless switch. Okay. So let's be honest, what we all want to know is what's it look like at night. Alexa, garden lights on. Okay.
Alexa, garden lights are off. Okay. Alexa, garden lights on. Okay. Alexa, garden lights off. Okay. So then there we go. That's how to install a kinetic switch, which works with Alexa. And I'll leave the links in the comments down below if you want to give this a go yourself.